The built-in servo library is pretty nice. It gives us the basic functionality um, to allow us to control servo motors, but we could be doing much more. So for that reason, I'm going to use show you how to use an external library, which is uh, this one here, VarSpeed Servo. You can access it at this location on GitHub, and it contains some instructions for usage and, and sample code. One nice thing about this particular library is that it allows us to, of course, use the right function uh, as we did in the built-in library, give it an integer representing the numbers of degrees that you'd like the servo to turn. But you can also provide the speed, so how fast would you like the shaft to move? When a built-in library, you can't do that, so the server will just move as fast as you can. Now, another nice thing is you can also say to Arduino whether you'd like it to wait until the motor finishes moving before moving to the next line in the sketch, or to just um, forget about the servo, let it finish uh, its movement on its own, and move on to the next line. So we, in this case, we say true. We're going to wait the Arduino is going to wait until the servo confirms that he has completed uh, the movement, movement as instructed before continuing with the next line in the sketch. If we say false here, then uh, the Arduino is not going to, uh, to wait. It's just going to move on to the next instruction in its sketch and uh, leave the servo complete its movement on its own. And there's other instructions and a lot of very useful uh, functions uh, uh, that you can use here. So before we can use this uh, library, we have to install it, uh, make it available to our IDE, IDE sketches. To do that, you can download the zip like this. So an archive, a zip archive, download it. Once you have it, You need to change the file name or the folder name to make sure that it matches the name of the library. So this is the name of the library here, VarSpeed Servo. You need to make sure that this folder name matches the name of the library. So I'm going to remove the last few characters like that. Then I need to put this in our particular place um, on my file system, a folder that the Arduino keeps its uh, libraries. So to find out what that location is, you open up the preferences uh, of your IDE and uh, you look at what it says. Now this is where I keep my Arduino files and when and where the Arduino is going to look for libraries. So I'm going to use this information to copy the new library to go, to go to my Arduino library. Inside here, there is a folder called libraries. So I'll open it up. And in here, I'm going to copy the new folder that contains this library and paste it in here. I'm not going to finish this because I've already got a copy of this library. It's already installed. Exactly the same thing. Once I finish with this, I have to restart the IDE. So quit the Arduino IDE and then start it up again. And once it's up, you can confirm that the new library has been imported and it's available to use by having a look at the available library. So you go to sketch, click on import library, and you can see that down here, the library we just used is um, showing up. So let's have a go at it. First, I'm going to ignore the part of my circuit that contains the potentiometer and I'm going to use, I'm going to load up the example called sweep. 
which is um, the matching example of the built-in sweep sketch. Let's run it. And this looks very similar to the sweep we saw earlier. It's a little difference here. Let's have a look at the sketch. So in the sketch, we start by including the var speed servo library instead of a built-in servo library. And then we declare the my server object. Just like we did earlier, we um, have a servo pin to be pin nine, and then we attach the servo at pin 9 to the my server object. Now, the write fun function is a little bit different to what we saw in the built-in servo library write function, because now we initialize the um, servo to start at degrees 0 and basically to go straight all the way to the beginning of its um, range of movements at maximum speed. So 255 represents um, the maximum speed that the attached servo can, uh, can rotate. And uh, we're saying true, which tells the Arduino that it should wait for the servo to reach that position zero before it moves on to the next thing it's gotta do, basically before it moves on to the loop function. As soon as the servo finishes its uh, movement back to position zero, we get into the loop function. In the loop function, we do uh, two servo writes constantly. Notice that there's no loop here. So first we say to the servo mechanism, we go to position 180, so that represents 180 degrees, as fast as you can, and wait until the servo reaches that position. Once it does reach position 180, then move on to the next instruction where we write position zero. So we want to send the servo back to position zero at a much lower speed, so at 30, and wait until that finishes. So this is a very powerful um, library. You can control um, uh, several more aspects of the operation of a server than you can do with the built-in library. Show you one more thing. Let's have a look at how to use the knob now using the VAR server library. So I'm going to bring up the knob example. Upload it. De connect. And upload. All right, so there you go, same effect as before. You can move the knob and the server moves accordingly. Having a look at the sketch, we start up the exact same way as in the last example. Do the same kind of uh, we'll use a, the same way to attach the pin. Then we go and read uh, the value at analog pin zero. We do the same mapping as the knob example when we use the built-in library. And now look at this. This is the exact same write function that we used with just one single argument as um, back in the knob example with the built-in. Uh, library. So what this means is that the var speed servo library allows us to use the write function in a variety of ways. One of which is just to provide the final position where we'd like the uh, servo mechanism to move at, which is what happens with the the original um, the original built-in version of this function. So if you have any sketches that were based on the built-in servo library, those are going to work just fine with the VAR speed servo library. You can always explore what else this library can do by looking at the uh, documentation. Okay, so you can see here 
For example, there are three different ways by which we can write instructions to the server. A single parameter can have uh, two parameters, uh, final position and speed, or three parameters which have the final position, the speed, then whether Arduino should wait for completion or not. Okay, working with server motors is real fun and very useful. So how about you extend your knowledge through an exercise? Can you build a circuit that contains a server motor and three buttons? When you press the first button, the motor moves to 60 degrees. When you press the second button, it moves to 90 degrees. And when you press button three, it moves to 180 degrees.